Hello everyone. Um, my name is Kat and I welcome myself back into the fandom of Kachi and the Yunike. And I know there are probably some of you out there that do not like this decision. Some of you out there that probably know who I was and knew about the controversy that happened. I think earlier this year? No. Last year to early this year, somewhere around there. I don't exactly remember the time frame anymore, like the exact time frame. And I apologize for my my voice in advance. I have a cough that has led to me kind of losing my voice a bit. Um, but I am here to address the controversy that happened and what led to everyone hating me and bullying me out of the fandom and causing me to completely abandon my fan page on Instagram and YouTube and everything. And here we go. So firstly, who am I, if you don't know who I am? Um, I was pretty active in the fandom of Kachi's Unike. Um, I went by the name Kaden once upon a time, and I did, in fact, if you guys knew me, I used to identify as a transgender male, and, well, everything behind that, um, for the longest time I could have ever, um, like, known for, I was having huge problems with my identity, and for the most part, was huge insecurity about how I would turn out if I even tried to glow up as a girl, because all of my bullies from school were looking really pretty and stuff like that. And I felt really insecure because I didn't like how I was turning out. And so I thought to completely abandon all of that and get rid of all my insecurities and start identifying as stuff that has no relation to being a girl and it all kind of eased out a bit because throughout high school i'm still in high school but throughout uh last year i've kind of eased into being more feminine again and it wasn't until this year this school year that i've completely um gotten over my insecurities and i'm fine with who i was but also note real quick that this is not the same case for anyone who identifies as transgender. Please don't put this out on anyone else. Um, but this conversation, this topic will also be involved in this controversy. Um, <clears throat> so, anywho, sidetracked. Um, so who was I? I went by the name Kaden online. And most notably, people knew that as my YouTube channel's name. And how did I get a lot of traffic to my channel? Because I had 500 subscribers. Um, so basically, 2021 K-Pop Superfest came out, starring Kachi. I was the first to record it and upload it. And, well, I actually don't know if I was the first, but that was the video that trafficked the most clicks and everyone saw first. And some people didn't like that. Some people did not like me getting that, that much views. And so people went, no, delete it. Blah, 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 blah. And that was also part of what made me look bad, apparently. But um, I also had to get word from Nicole herself about this, about me keeping my video of the performance up because she didn't want to reveal this. She didn't want to reveal any information. But I think I've already revealed it before, but obviously video has been taken down now. But um, they had to work with uh, K-pop Superfest to get rights to take the video and post it themselves too. So I wasn't in the wrong. I don't think anyone here was in the wrong. And K-pop Superfest, I've asked them if I could post it, right? I just got a measly like smiley face or emoji or reply back, which was kind of dumb. Um, so. I don't think no one cared. Nobody professionally or legally cared. Um, 
But apparently you fans did. You guys cared so hard. So hard. And that leads to the second part of what went to the downfall of my channel. I was the person who wanted to try and upload updates as they went on. As they went. Like, hey, this is what what's happening right now. If I have more information, I'll post. Um, none of y'all got the idea. None of you got the idea. And... You guys bashed me so hard. Bashed me. Like, literally bullied me, practically. Bullied me, saying I was spreading misinformation when that was what everyone else was spreading around at that time. About Danny leaving Kachi. I was uploading about Danny leaving Kachi. And that was all, all the information I provided was the only information being spread around at the time. You guys think I was the only person spreading misinformation? No. Everyone was thinking the exact same thing. I'm not that stupid. We were all thinking the exact same thing about why she left. And then, so, when new information came out, I uploaded about it. But nobody cared about the video. No one saw it. Everyone paid attention to the first video with the previous misinformation. Literally. It, oh my god, it was mind-boggling. But, um... But now this skips forward to the big controversy. The big controversy, guys. So... Millie Bellum. You guys know Millie? <laughs> Nicole's friend. Haha, <laughs> knows Kachi. Haha, <laughs> from Germany. Yeah. Um, so, all three of these people that were involved with this, by the way, are blocked. And I could easily go into my blocked and list who these people were. But, besides, since I already said who Millie was, I guess I'll just go ahead and say... So this girl named Jojo and this guy named Tris, okay? Those are the other two people. And so basically, Millie made a Discord server, right? For Unikeys to hang out and stuff and have watch parties and stuff about Kachi, right? Fun and games. And so then something about a TikTok came up with this girl in the Discord and Jojo. And... So, this girl was talking about BTS and the Grammys being, like, rigged or whatever. And then JoJo made a comment about, like, how the Black artists that performed, like, carried. And so, it led to this whole argument thing and stuff. And from what I can remember, I was siding with JoJo at the time. I wasn't, like, fully... I mean, I was fully into the argument, but... Like, because JoJo told me, like, the context from her end. Like, that's what I went with. And so I sided with her. And so, but Millie, just coming online and seeing the argument without any real context whatsoever, was siding with the other person. And then it led to this whole thing about racism. Who's racist this? Who's racist that? And... That's a whole mess in itself to go into. But then it's talking about the part where then Millie... It led to Millie kicking all three of us out of the, the chat. Um, And so Nicole actually has to come into play with this. Because she was in the server, right? Um, As the name Blueberry N. And, you know, me having like ADHD and stuff. Not completely like figuring things out, right? At first. I didn't know that was Nicole, right? I thought it was just some normal person. Because I don't want to assume so quick that it's someone we know. Because some people have gotten irritated with me before when I was like, wait, what if it is Nicole? Like, when everyone else was like that, right? But I don't think any of them knew either that it was Nicole at first until she revealed herself. It was her over a video chat that we got kicked from. All three of us got kicked from. And, um, coming from that, um, yeah, then, so basically, Tris, right, we had some beef, and over the fact he claimed that he talked to one of the Stray Kids members, I think it was Minho, um, claims that he was talking to Minho or one of the Stray Kids members, like, outside like, on Instagram on something like that because a meet and greet or whatever. Like, oh, but I have to uh, on add you or whatever because they can't know I'm talking to a fan, blah, 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 blah. I thought that was sketchy, right? Our famous K-pop idol, 
like someone from Stray Kids would not just talk with a friend like that, right? Yeah. Um, I wasn't that, I wasn't that stupid. So I was like, um, I'm sorry, but if you're gonna say something that hard to believe, I don't think I want to talk. I don't think I want to talk, bro. Because I'm like, like, even if I love BTS, for example, that much, I would not go around saying I'm talking to them behind the scenes, right? I, I would not. And so that pissed him off. That pissed him off. And so up until, I think, early 2022, they kept finding all my social media accounts, all of my new Instagrams I had to make and move to, and kept bullying me in DMs, kept bullying me, bullying me, bullying Y'all kept fucking bullying me. And I'm not forgiving you guys, no matter the fucking context. Because that fucking got to me. That shit got to me. Okay? And let's talk about another one of the reasons why y'all were bullying me. And this has to do with Millie and the transgender situation. Um, so, live stream. We're on a live stream explaining the freaking drama in the Discord, right? You guys remember that? We were all, like guesting each other that facetiming thing on the instagram live stream button feature thing right yeah and millie kept coming into the damn thing and coming after us coming after us coming after us y'all remember that right and she came after me because i was the i was the lgbtq um other gender kid right i was i was that kid she came after me saying i was purposely misgendering her saying the wrong pronouns when she never got mad at anyone else for calling her by the pronouns she her right she was just fine just fine all three of us were referring to her as she her and in her bio on instagram on everything she kept only had the pronouns she her and then that was until after she accused me of misgendering her that she added she he they and all her pronoun all of her pronoun things like we saw her do that like we we're like um girl no, no, no. Um, so yeah, that was also fucked up, right? Also fucked up. Um, and so that leads up to me yelling at her to fuck off. I actually went off on her on the live stream, right? And so Tris happened to record the whole thing, me going off on her. And so there was a part here where I know I should have never said this. And I have done so much better at not repeating this while getting mad whatsoever this hasn't happened in forever from me to say uh, she had pissed me off so bad with the misgendering thing and coming after us i out of rage said like i out of rage said and i'm not repeating this anymore after that i'm explaining here i told her to kill herself and now as i just said I'm not repeating that ever again. I do not mean for that, for me to say that. And when I was yelling at her, I mentioned right after I said it, I said, not literally, just like, fuck off, leave us alone. Like, get out, get out of the live stream. That's what I meant it as. And I explained that right after I said that, correct? But no, Tris took the screen recording, cut out that part, and said I told Nicole to kill herself. Are you fucking insane? Apparently, I told Nicole to kill herself. Apparently. And no, the only thing I've ever told Nicole before I knew that was even her, by the way, she tried to join in and make up conclusions, like conclude the argument that was going on. And I only said, and I quote, shut the the fuck up, please stay out of this. You don't know what actually went on. Okay? I did not know that was Nicole. I did not say Nicole. I, I just... I... Please stay out of this. And so, I did not tell her to kill herself. I did not tell Nicole to kill herself, guys. Okay? Okay. So now, with that all out of the way, me being looked like the bad guy here... I, I guess I quote unquote apologize for being the bad person here when I'm not. I'm not. So after basically exposing the elephants in the room, I'm welcoming myself back in. I'm not a bad person. 
And I think we all know this. And y'all just loved Tristan and Jojo so fucking much. And Millie. And believed everything from them. That, oh, I was the bad guy. Because y'all heard from them. And But no. I was just bullied out of the fandom because of this. They kept going on about the drama after like one or two months of it occurring. That they kept going into my DMs and throwing insults and stuff at me. They're all like, no, we all knew that was Nicole. <laughs> You're stupid. Like, no, you guys acted just as clueless and shocked as I did. Y'all acted just as fucking clueless. And then Tristan Jojo went ahead and made the claim that Johnny hated me. Okay? And that fucking made me sad because I looked up to Johnny personally because I loved his covers and like personally like he was one of my favorite people on YouTube and now I also don't know 100% if he actually does hate me but I guess I can kind of understand too but I don't think it was a valid reason to hate me Considering how I was just bullied out of your guys' goddamn fandom. Uh-huh. And I know that how Coco left too now. That there's literally just two girls in the group now. I... Are they going to even continue making music? But regardless, I still support them. I still have supported them. And I've never been toxic towards just them as a group. Like, hell, I was the UNIK constantly posting videos about debunking the rumors. Like, I made so many videos debunking every single tiny, teeny rumor. But no, I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad person. Anyway, yeah, I'm back. I'm in the fandom. Y'all can't tell me to get out because I also have a right. Um, but yeah, peace out. I'm not the bad guy. Controversy debunked. See you later.